Welcome. I can't believe you've turned up late. You've missed the start of the show. It was both the most rock and roll and chaotic start to a show ever. I tell you what, I'll recreate it. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Oh, people, what they couldn't believe their luck when the, the, the special effects. Oh, the special effects. It was incredible. It was le less of a glitter cannon and more like just one shitty piece of silver. It was almost like the bloke in the lightning rig was eating a baked potato <laughs> and, a, and a small amount of aluminium foil just came off. And went, oh, shit, I've dropped it. You know? <laughs> I, I could have been worse, couldn't it? Imagine if I'd have just walked out of that ladder and just gone, Welcome to the show! And just a bit of cheese had fallen. <laughs> like just, mm. Especially if it was a hot baked potato as well, because that cheese, it would have been all melted. Instead of just a lump of cheese falling, it would have been some sort of, it would have been one long streak, just right down like that. Maybe, maybe just above my head height there. Ooh, how much would, because I like a bit of cheese, I don't mind telling you. Ooh, a bit of, ooh, lovely. Ooh, in fact, just thinking about it now, I'm thinking, I'd like a bit of cheese. And, um, <laughs> but th that'd be teasing me, wouldn't it? If just a long bit of melted cheese just came down and was just here, just out of reach, because if it was there, I could, I could throw out the, I could just, mm, uh, you know, I could chat to you for a bit, make friends, we could have a bit of a laugh, and then I could just walk across and just, mmm, mmm, suck in a cheesy treat, you know, mm. but if it was just here, just out of reach of me, and I, I'd have to sort of, uh, I'd have to deliberately incorporate things that required me to jump slightly, like that, and then, mm, take a bit of cheese and come continue that he might be up there with his baked potato teasing me just letting the cheese go down and <laughs> pulling it back at the last minute damn you you baked potato cheesy bastard <laughs> did i call him potato I, I, call, I called it a potato there didn't i i was trying to say a potato and i said potato the um that's what the mexicans call potatoes potatoes <laughs> you say potato i say potato <laughs> Who says potato? I do, it's a new thing. Anyway, <laughs> the, that song makes no sense at all, does it? You say potato, I say tapato. Who calls it a fucking potato? No one! <laughs> if you went into a shop and asked for, excuse me, could I have a baked potato, please? <laughs> they go, fuck off, you're an idiot. <laughs> no, you know. Somebody in the background, you say potato, he says potato. No one calls it a potato! I've no, unless you do, unless that's a thing, and you're all going, he's made a fool of himself. <laughs> Has he never heard of a potato before? <laughs> They're very popular in these parts. <laughs> yes, that bloke up there, I'm eating a baked potato! <laughs> Fuck off, sound man. <laughs> the, yeah, uh, I'm eating a baked potato with taste. <laughs> That's how he pronounces cheese. <laughs> anyway, there's not a bloke up there eating a baked potato, potato, or a potato, so you don't have to worry about that in case any of you work in the health and safety department and you're sitting there going, that's not right, Ross. What if the baked potato wasn't fully cooked through properly? If it was to fall and hit you on the head rather than the fluffy potato simply exploding in a beautiful potato-like special effect, it could knock you unconscious. You would be lying on the floor as coleslaw and melted cheese ran over your face. <laughs> That'd be a treat for you lot in the front row, wouldn't it? You could just lean up onto the stage and just lick the food off me. <laughs> the, um, probably not a treat, more of a weird... Especially not for you, sir, with the most enormous beard I've ever seen in my entire life. You've got a full ZZ Top affair going on. I love it. It's magnificent. It's kind of like... I don't know how... I, I wish I could show everyone. Ima hang on a sec. It's, it's like... So, imagine a head here, like that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, that's... That's exactly... What was your name, sir? Sandy, that's what Sandy looks like, like this, right? Imagine eyes just here. Yeah, how's it going? Lovely, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, do you mind if I climb up onto the stage, Russ, and lick some coleslaw off the face? Yeah. 
obviously you've actually got like a, a rest of a head there and there's eyes and uh, you don't sort of talk like a muppet as well that's the other <laughs> the, uh, anyway I'll uh, oh and I'm back the um, it's, it's a magnificent look Sandy I like it a lot I and oh I've got myself all tangled now oh blimey I feel like you are trying to in the morning putting on a bow tie <laughs> The, uh, you wear a bow tie would be re redundant, wouldn't it? The beard comes right down to here, doesn't it? You probably go to some formal function, you think. <laughs> I'll be dressed in the black tie, but I'll be more comfortable than anyone else. Or maybe you actually dye the beard fully black and then you sort of gel it into a... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah, I've given you an idea there, Sandy, haven't I? All of this is free. You can have it. Imagine that if you just had a massive bow tie out the side like that. <laughs> Solid with gel on the thing there. It's a magnificent look, and I applaud you for it. The, yeah, metaphorically speaking, obviously, that'd be a bit, a bit, of, a, bit of a shit show if I spent the rest of the night just, just <laughs> you know... Men having their beards applauded isn't really much of a night out, is it? And it'd piss you off as well if you're trying to, you know, you're trying to go about your daily business and I just followed you around applauding you. <laughs> Yay! Go Sandy! Go Sandy! The, yeah, uh, it's magnificent there. What, what do you do for a living, Sandy? A gas man! Ooh, now, ooh, now, hang on a second. Oh, somebody finding that hilarious over there. <laughs> I think what he means by that is that he fixes gas boilers and the like. I don't think he's claiming to be a superhero. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I am gas man! I am able to produce any type of gas simply at the click of a finger. If you need something to explode, call on Sandy the Gas Man! <laughs> If you need your barbecue provided with necessary fuel, I can simply plug myself in and provide you with hours of heating time. Go on, burn away, burn away. They call me Gas Man. What's that? You've opened a casino and you need a flashing sign that says casino flashing above the jaw. I also do neon. And then, you know, what do you do, Argon? Sorry, I just... I love, the, I love the fact that you thought about that. Uh, yes. No, that's my department. The, uh, sorry, that was a science joke there. It's one of the noble gases. Anyway, don't. Sorry. That was... <laughs> that was a joke that you would have... Voted. One person at the back probably went, <laughs> He's a genius! <laughs> A genius, a uh, gas man. Good work. That's uh, that must be difficult, though, being a gas man with an enormous beard like that. What happens when you're fiddling around with a boiler and you stick your head in there and the pilot lights on? <laughs> That's like kindling that big beard, isn't it? Is is that why you've shaved the top of your head there? It's, you what? It got burnt off. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> I was very badly burnt. I'd like to tell you about that. Go on, make that funny. <laughs> the, um, d it didn't get burnt off, surely not. God, you with hair would look insane. It would be like the hair started here and then just kept going like that. It would just imagine if you grew, if you had hair like mine on top. Oh, it'd be frightening. I'd, I'd be genuinely terrified. It would be like somebody hiding in a haystack. <laughs>